All right, so that was only just a few moments to put that in. So now we're good to go to put in our display. Looks like we got a little bit of gunk on the sides here, but that's fine. It's not going to impact anything on the display, so we we can easily liner up. So as you can see from my cutouts, nothing has to be exact um, simply because of the, the screen overlay. So you'll see imperfections and things like that. Um, I didn't clean up the edges well enough, so we're just going to clean this up clean them up with with my fingernail because the plastic is so soft so things look a little bit better so once we have the display kind of lined up how we want it Then we go ahead and hot glue it into place. And it's okay if you adjust it along the way because the hot glue is still pretty warm that you can just kind of play with it a little to put it into place. So I only did the four corners for now just to kind of set it in place. can't really go down too far because one thing that I noticed while putting it on is that the bottom side is just a little longer than what I'm used to um, so I've made it so that it's right on the cusp there so we can test out to make sure that the button will still move freely in which it looks like it does so perfect Give it a few minutes for it to set all the way in. Any kind of final adjustments, we can go ahead and do so um, without damaging anything. And if you ever need to reheat it to adjust, just use the hot glue gun and you can easily make the adjustments without any hot glue needed. And of course you'll get some lines of hot glue in a corner every once in a while, but no biggie. I'm just trying to make it so that the screen is level as much as I can and that looks pretty pretty close well, that's all right when we build these nothing has to be absolutely perfect so once we have it somewhat good then we can go ahead and finalize its place. Make sure that you don't hot glue alongside here along the display ribbon. The heat may cause interference um, between the connections or you might simply just 
have damaged the ribbon cable. So let's just avoid that entire area. Once you have that, you should have a nice bead going along here, alongside, um, and then a little, a couple of spots on the side. So once it cools down, we can get rid of the spider web that's left over, and we're getting close to the front face being completed. So once that's all set and good, which it should be at least cooled enough already. Go ahead and clean it up. And that looks pretty good so far. So we can kind of get a look of how it's going to be by placing the piece on top. So I'll go ahead and wipe this area down and all that good stuff. Um, but that won't be till the last bit as the final touching place. But overall, it looks pretty good.